Understanding Dyslexia and the Creative Process. Hi, my name is Mark Johansson. I'm an artist. I'm also a dyslexia. Understanding what dyslexia is is actually quite difficult. For most people, dyslexia is just word blindness. And if the problem is, dyslexia is not just word blindness. It's, it's more than that. It's about the ability to process and the way in which information is processed in here. For a dyslexic, it's not just understanding words on a page. It's millions of possibilities because we process information in vast quantities. Every time we come across a line or a word or a phrase, it's all sorts of possibilities come into play. So to help you understand dyslexia and the creative process, let me try and explain to you as simply as I can what dyslexia is to a dyslexic. When I was a kid and, and the teacher would call me thick and, and point at each word on the page and say, you know, it's easy, read this, the cat sat on the mat, that probably made perfect sense to her. I didn't realise for years, for about 40 years, that most people don't think like I do. They don't process information in the same way. They simply see a phrase like, the cat sat on a mat, and accept that as a reality. They're not questioning that. But for me to look at the, the cat sat on the mat, raises millions of possibilities. It's not just the cat sat on the mat. It's what colour is the cat? How big is the cat? Why is the cat sitting on the mat? How big is the mat? How small is the mat? Where is the mat? Is it in front of the door? Why would the cat sit on the mat? Is it a tired cat? All of those questions suddenly get asked with the cat sat on the mat. So understanding what the words meant was almost irrelevant when you're having to deal with 300 questions about why a cat is sitting on a mat. That is what a dyslexic faces. Being a dyslexic, facing so many possibilities from a simple statement or a simple picture or a simple view of the world throws everything out of the window. That's where the creative solutions start to arrive. It's not that you're thick, because most, most dyslexics are not. Most have above average intelligence. Most of them are more creative in their solutions than ordinary people, because we ask so many questions. Being creative means that I get to ask all of these questions about the simple line. I then get to make decisions about those li that line before I've even started. So I know what I want to do, I know how I want to do it, and then I can allow myself to do it. And from a dyslexic's point of view, allowing yourself to make those decisions and have the courage to do it is the hard bit because you've got to sort out all the stuff going on inside your head and then make it a reality. I hope understanding a little about what dyslexia is and how that affects the creative process helps, helps you to understand that being dyslexic doesn't mean you can't, it just means you're going to think about it differently.